Hello everybody. Good evening and welcome to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition. Um, hello Nugget. So, as y'all know, um, I've been looking forward to this stream for a while. Um, and we're going to be playing or replaying my uh, Cannon Shepherd, aka Carolina. Um, but this time in the Legendary Edition. Um, we're going to start from the beginning with Mass Effect 1. It will be New Game Plus. That way we don't have to play Hunt the Planet, or Hunt for all the planetary resources. Because according to Mass Effect 2, I already have them. Hello, Psycho Samurai. Hello, Floof. Welcome to the stream. Um, we will also be playing this on normal difficulty. Um, and if it feels too normal, we can always bump it back up. Or bump it up to veteran. No insanity. I'm not that insane. But let's go ahead and start the new career. Welcome to Alliance I will get Scry to bunk you, Nugget. Classified information <laughs> requested. Slack. Establishing secure connection. I have my caffeine and my noms, secure yes. Secure connection confirmed. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and select existing ID. Carolina. She is a colonist and a war hero. Uh, she's an infiltrator. <laughs> yes, I love that emote there. God damn it, Floof. But because uh, there's no character creation this time because it's New well, Game Plus. What about Shepard? She grew up in the colonies. <laughs> she knows how tough life can be out there. Her parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. She proved herself during the Blitz, held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. She's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question her courage. Humanity needs a hero. Excuse me. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discover the remnants of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts reveal startlingly new technologies enabling travel to the furthest stars. The base of this incredible technology is a force that controls the very fabric of space and time. They call it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilizations of the galaxy call it... Mass Effect. I did it! The Arcturus Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander? We are connected. <laughs> Calculating oh, transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. There she is. She's even got freckles. I'm so glad they able, were able to let me uh, give her freckles. Hitting a relay in three, two, one. Yeet! Thrusters. Nugget, please. St stop. Check. Internal emissions sync engaged. 
All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. I, I know you weren't trying to nug it. It's just... If, if it wasn't for the fact that you're doing it to Carolina, I wouldn't care. It's the fact that you were doing it to Carolina. That, that's the thing. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting on. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we meet you, Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here. <laughs> Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the Smooth call room Joker. for the briefing. You get that, Commander? Great. You pissed the Captain off, and now I'm gonna pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The Captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Alrighty, so let's do some double checking first. Let's make sure that uh, sound is good. Okay, we'll bump that up. But yeah, um, grew up on Mendoir uh, when. Carolina was 16. The colony of Mendoir was raided by slavers. Tyrell settlement was raised, and everybody that Shepard knew was slaughtered. Um, although a uh, passing alliance patrol did end up rescuing Carolina, and then War Hero uh, enlisted with the Alliance military and posted at Elysium. You're there during the Skillian Blitz, an attack on the colony by a massive force of slavers, crime syndicates, and Batarian warlords. Carolina rallied the civilian inhabitants, leading them in their desperate fight to hold off the invaders. Enemy troops broke through the colony's fences. Carolina single-handedly held them off and sealed the breach. After hours of brutal fighting, reinforcements finally arrived, and the enemy broke ranks and fled. Because of Carolina's actions, Elysium was saved, and she's regarded throughout the Alliance as a true hero. And squad points. There we are. Um. Yes and no. There is one DLC that is not included in the Legendary Edition for Mass Effect 1. And that is the Pinnacle Station. Um, Pinnacle Station is the... Uh, combat Simulator 1. Um, but it doesn't have any bearing on the main plot whatsoever. In fact, it wasn't even done by Bioware themselves. They had to outsource it because they were busy working on uh, Dragon Age, I think, at the time. Um, so, um, when Bioware tried to get it for the Legendary Edition, um, apparently the source code that they got from the outside studio the only source code that was available was corrupted so they could either spend an extra six months and do it all f from scratch for a DLC that honestly no one really played all that much of and had no bearing on the plot or they could say fuck it it's just not in there and that's what, what they went with. Um, but the Bring Down the Sky Asteroid DLC is in here. So, there's that. 
but yeah. This is actually a much more well-rounded Carolina than uh, my original version of her back on the Xbox. Largely because I actually knew what I was doing. Alright. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Command. Screw you, I do what I want. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down in engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. <coughs> but you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I understand that, Psycho. I, I'm poor, too. Um, I should tell you that every... Uh, Mass Effect Legendary Edition stream uh, is brought to you by Sinvertis. He was kind enough to basically buy this for me. Um, so, I don't know if he's in the chat or not, but uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity <laughs> and paying uh, for the game. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? All we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. <laughs> We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Well, y you are a navigator, so you're not as high in the... All you need to know is where we're going. You don't need to know why. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, man. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. 55 pounds it it was I think closer to $60 in USD you don't trust nice <laughs> I don't like Turians in general it runs in my family my grandfather fought in the first contact war lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us that was 30 years ago you can't blame Nihilus for that no I guess not but it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board Especially a Turian. We're an alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. So yeah, Navigator Presley, um, he, he makes sure that we know where we're going. Um, he is also voiced by Dwight Schultz. Uh, those of you who watch Star Trek The Next Generation will recognize him as Lieutenant Reginald Barkley. Uh, this does include all three games. And in fact, um, the uh, character creator is unified. So it looked your shepherd will look the same in every single game if you want it to. Or one or two. Floof, I yelled at Nugget for that. I'll yell at you. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real act. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. 
Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. <laughs> yes, go to horny jail, Floof. And yeah, you're right, Dwight Schultz did play uh, Helen Mad Murdoch in uh, the A-Team. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my <laughs> big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going <laughs> to screw this up. Uh, yeah. You have a long, promising career ahead of you that will last all of maybe an hour. <laughs> what can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Oh boy. Hero worship much. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Yeah, Spectres... Um... They they are outside the law. If if it if they can argue that their actions are in the name of galactic peace, they can do whatever the hell they want. Jenkins is best squad mate in history. Uh huh. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander. Oh. <laughs> You're a war hero, right? Held off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed? That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those C-Sec grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. Caden or Ashley? Well, um, I typically find Caden's power set to be the more useful. He has the more character development and doesn't straight up call me a traitor. And as for Ashley's power set, she's basically discount Garrus. So... <laughs> How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those C-Sec grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. Uh -huh. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. I think I actually had a button again. Oh well. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. 
Uh, you, you you might not want to go on the mission. Goodbye, Commander. Trust me, Jenkins. You probably don't want to go on the mission. And then there's Nihilus. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. And thank you, Flu, for contributing to the uh, 10 million relief plan Mass Effect style challenge. <laughs> um, in case you uh, were wondering, it, there is a community challenge going on. Um, 250,000 points in 26 more days, and I will do a an evil playthrough of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Um, not Renegade, evil. Uh, and Hail Hydrate. And thank you, Psycho, for uh, uh, contributing to the Mass Effect Challenge. Give him character. <laughs> yeah. Dying gives you character. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. <laughs> yeah, Nugget, there's a way to, for you to contribute. It's called Be on Desktop. Um, try seeing if you can load up Twitch from your uh, phone's desktop browser. Not from the app, but from the desktop browser itself. That might be a workaround for you. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, show. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Like you need to contribute something somehow. Yeah, I, I, I wish you could. I, I wish Twitch would allow you to do that on mobile. I don't know why. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? <laughs> Floof has found a, humans don't have a the thing. Best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The Beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. 
I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Floof, did you modify? Use the re uh, redeem to modify that. <laughs> I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Uh... Floof somehow mirror-imaged um, one of my emotes. I'm trying to figure out how he did it. I think he used the modify em emote. Uh, we'll just Why is this the beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. <laughs> Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Hello, Phoenix. Yes, Caroline is back. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. <laughs> What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Somehow I think a routine mission's uh, no longer routine anymore. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't get evac. They came out of nowhere. We need. Oh boy, that's how big a ship. Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Reapers! Yes. The Reaper. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins Bonk the Reaper. Up. You're going in. Stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nylon, you're coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus Did he just out jump out without a parachute? Status reports throughout the mission. Yep. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. Cares about sovereign, not scary. <laughs> All right. So that that squad, we got a lot of points to give to Caden, so we're gonna have to level him up. We're gonna give him all of that. 
Get up to there. Get up to there. It's first aid. And snarl shock. Howdy, Sinvertis. Thank you for uh, um, contributing to the Mass Effect challenge there. And uh, again, shout out to Sinvertis. He is the benefactor of this stream. Thank you again for buying this game for me, Sinvertis. I'm most much appreciated. All right, and then bring that up to master level. Medicine up all the way. <laughs> um, I've already planned everything out, uh, Phoenix. And Caden survives um, Vermeer. <laughs> Uh, for reasons that I've already mentioned. Power set is better. And, uh... More compliments an infiltrator than, uh... Ashley does. Because Ashley's powers in Mass Effect 3 are basically discount Garrus. Uh, where do I want to put the other seven? Put there. And we'll even that up. All right, and we'll toggle the helmet, because why not? And there's uh, Carolina. And then we have Ensign Ricky, <coughs> I mean Jenkins. Wow, that's the most complete I've ever seen Jenkins' board, ever. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins, yep. Yeah, I'm so glad in this game you can um, toggle the helmet. Also, let's take a look at the HUD. As you can see, the squad moved from the f bottom right corner, or bottom left corner, to the middle. The health and shield bars are a lot easier to read. I um, should also map out my powers. Um, map overload. Okay, I can't map any squad powers, apparently. Well, darn. Hello, Foxhound. Welcome to, uh... Welcome to Mass Effect uh, Legendary Edition. Uh... Yeah, um... The, the HUD is a lot more streamlined. A lot easier to read. Just curious, what can I equip him with? Oh, I can equip him with a lot of shit. Okay, um... Let's, that's Jenkins. Uh... Just for shit's sake, giggles. It let me uh, put in a quarry in. I think that's that's funny. Yeah, um, technically you're not supposed to have equipment by this point in the game, so it can get kind of weird. But um, go ahead and do that for Caden. That and that 
And for pistols, you can have that one. Why the hell not? There. All right. Oh, just look at that comet exoskeleton. Also, you can see above the health bar the fatigue meter, which is a lot easier to understand. Okay, move. Jenkins, you're on point. And by that I mean don't use your body as a shield. Damn it, Jenkins, I said not to use your body as a shield. He's dead, Jim. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, man. <laughs> no, Jenkins! We can't go on! Murder all the geth! Metagel is needed to heal injured... Oh, hold on. Rip Jenkins. Overload. Screw you. I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. Hold on, I want to make sure. Am I on? Yeah, okay. Disable tutorials. Okay, we got new equipment. Who cares? Mark that as red, mark that as red. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. So what happens when you have Nagase as a guardian angel? <laughs> yes. F in the chat for Jenkins. That's what his eyes are doing. Run, Forrest, run! Probably weren't. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. He the one who charged your ma'am? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. 
the others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Yeah, the the character models in the Legend Edition look so much better than they did uh, back in Mass Effect 1. Um, which, apparently, is a 2007 era game, so... Mass Effect 1 is a contemporary of Ace Combat 6. Um, but I... To me, the Legendary Edition for Mass Effect 1 feels a lot like the Halo Anniversary um, remaster for Halo. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. What else yeah, do you the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Koreans a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins. God damn, it's and like... The beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple <laughs> Just of nights doing a field debriefing. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Uh, Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Alright. Move up! <laughs> yes. Um... All the characters in Mass Effect have uh, great asses. We'll take. We'll get rid of the high, the tungsten because that's a seven. But there we go. Put that up. Ha! Scorpion one. Yeah, no, that's Omni Gel. And they dead. Oh yeah, we gotta give her her points. Uh, there. Uh, toggle the helmet off. You don't need it. Ashley. Okay, so um, you can have heavy armor, right? I don't have heavy armor. Okay. Um, if I get, why not take this? Um, and then we'll have that high explosive rounds, frictionless materials, and kinetic coil. There you go. Enjoy.
No armor or clothes or weapons or thermal clips. Just like the berserkers of old. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after a toothpick and send her to battle. <laughs> you think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. <laughs> Defeat the Reapers with this toothpick. Camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Alrighty. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. That's great. I'll wait for you there. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. <laughs> oh god, they're still alive. I wouldn't call that alive. Throw that one. Okay. <laughs> yep, the husks. Let me just tell the Geth and Reaper's paradox. <laughs> I don't think that works. Maybe for the Geth, but not for the Reapers. The Reapers are too pretentious for that to work. Humans, thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. I normally don't, but... It doesn't take away from Paragon's score if you do, so what the hell, I might do it. What Depends upon how I feel. The attack. It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. But it wouldn't necessarily be in character. Bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Torian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit <laughs> unsettled. We haven't seen your Torian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. 
What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. <laughs> Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Fine. Psycho, this is for you. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Ugh. Oh my god! What did you do? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just <laughs> go around whacking people in the head. It was only a matter of time till he did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked <laughs> Dunk! <laughs> Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. <laughs> and I love how Kate is just like, that might have been a little extreme there, Shepard. But whatever. <laughs> and Ashley was sitting like, he had it coming. Uh, Paragon. Carolina is a Paragon. Hence the fact that she's a war hero. Saren. Nihilus. But she does have a little bit of a renegade mission, streak. Saren. What are you doing here? The council <laughs> thought you could use some help on this one. Shepherd Punch. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. That is one loud ass pistol. Thank you for the biddies, Psycho. Sovereign looks so much better. You can actually see detail on it. Oh yeah, Carolina has a renegade streak in her. But not that big. Basically, uh, her more renegade tendencies come out if you fuck with either her or her crew. She shares the mama bear Tendencies with Piper. Coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Bo? Oh. I, I don't... I, I don't get it, Psycho. <laughs> Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. <laughs> Until now. <laughs> um, well... Unintentionally, Carolina is exactly my type. She has a very... Um... Husky sort of sultry voice. She's a redhead. And she... 
wields a 50 caliber sniper rifle. So, um, she's kind of my ideal woman. What else I didn't you tell me about think about that when I uh, created her. Clear look at it. But it over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise call. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. <laughs> She's got red hair. No sweat. <laughs> As his dummy mommy wife. <laughs> I mean... You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. Just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. We're risking our lives to save this colony. <coughs> you sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Snitches get stitches. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport if he's still alive. <laughs> Is that what you write in the what are you looking for on dating sites? Redhead, sultry voice, and uses a 50 cal stuff. Yes! <laughs> that last part is very important. I have to go. Good luck. Oh boy. A stinger, too. That was the pistol that they gave me. I'm so thrilled. He's being is my pistol is the best pistol in the game. I have the best weapons in the game. Actually, I uh, worked for him on, in the first playthrough. Commander, it's Nihilus. Yeah, that's great. Um, I'm busy looting stuff, so you enjoy. More high explosive rounds. There's no reloading. <laughs> You're going to see me do that a lot because the grenade button is the reload button for every other game. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. I like the way you hid behind those crates during the fight. Really helped us out. Thanks a lot. Me? But but I'm just a dock worker. I don't even have a weapon. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. <laughs> I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up. Then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? 
they never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Uh huh. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? Press I, X to I, doubt. Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? You ditch work, then you cower back here and do nothing while the Geth butcher everyone else. I don't even have a gun. What was I supposed to do? Run out there and die? I couldn't save them. Nobody could. It, it was horrible. You're right, you don't have a gun, but you do have some other things. You're Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Do you got any weapons? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. <laughs> Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the commander's here, pal. Hand over those grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. <laughs> See? He didn't have a gun, but he had grenades. He could have started chucking those against the Geth. Joker could break them. Slakes. <laughs> a lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. Oh, Ashley, I bet you're so naive. I bet you think politicians don't lie either. Actually, no. She doesn't trust any politician. I'll give her that. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Hello, Star the Creator. Train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Actually, that's pretty top of the line. Not gonna lie. Fuck you! That hurt. Williams, go up. Damn it, Ashley, get your head out of the way.
Yoink. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. No witnesses. Now I gotta be a bomb disposal unit. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need Beep. to find them all and shut them Beep. down. Beep. Fuck you! Oh yeah, the Legendary Edition is great. I, I love it. Just cut the red wire. It's always the red wire. Why does she look like Black Widow? That's just the armor she has. It's the Colossus armor from Casa Fabrications, I think. When she was a blonde. I shoot at your face. <laughs> I'm disarming the bomb while not looking at it. Let me sit on the bomb and disarm it. Okay, so don't need any Phoenix armor. But we can Disarming sense. Hello, Scry! Welcome! Oh, and Star Crater, thank you for contributing to the uh, TMRP Mass Effect Challenge. It's not hacks. Carolina's rear is that talented. Okay, I think they're all dead. Let's see, it's always either nanotech or quantum. Exactly. Bomb defusal using butt. It is a unique skill. Yes, it is a very unique class skill. Uh, it's Spectre level skill. <laughs> Easy decryption. Okay, we yeah, we'll take those since they're all X's, we can sell them later. Alright. Oh, 
There's a wall safe over there. <laughs> Wait, did you say her rear was that talented? <laughs> yeah. Usually only Garrus gets to um, experience or witness those talents. Get rid of those tank surrounds. The kinetic coils, good though. Romance Rex. Actually, I really wish that you could, but you can't. But Rex would be an awesome romance option for Shepard. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. <laughs> There'll be a mod for it. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Caroline is the lady of many talents. One of them is knowing when her squad mates are fucking things up. She's like, damn it, Kaden! No, don't touch me. It's too Could someone get me the license plate on that truck? <laughs> 18. <laughs> ah, I love that reference. <laughs> it's a truck, not a truck. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Also, um, that Asari is voiced by Marina Sirtis, a.k.a. Um, Deanna Troy Doctor, from Star Trek TNG. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? I feel like I got run over by a tractor trailer. morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Uh... You're an NPC. You're supposed to do stupid things. It's not your fault. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Science typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Bye, Carthen Assey. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? 
I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Uh... Good? Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? <clears throat> I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. It's okay, Shepard. Jenkins was not blessed with plot armor. He shall be missed. <laughs> he was cursed with Swiss cheese armor. <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. <coughs> You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Uh... Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the council, Shepard. What are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? <laughs> we don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation as politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Chakwas is my mothma. Interesting. And Captain Anderson is voiced by Keith David, a.k.a. the Arbiter, Goliath, um, and a bunch of other amazing characters that I don't want the list to run on forever <sighs> I'll find some way to take him down it's not that easy he's a specter he can go anywhere do almost anything that's why we need the council on our side we prove Saren's gone rogue and the council will revoke his specter status I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council he'll want to see us as soon as we reach the citadel we should be getting close Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. But yeah, um, so remember what they uh, said about, or what Jenkins said about uh, how the Council deals with rogue specters? They send another specter to go take him down. Yeah, okay. that might come into play later. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you, too. Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. Doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. I couldn't have done it without you. We're Marines. Aww. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. He didn't have plot armor. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're unrestricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. 
Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? Uh. My family were homesteaders on Mindwar. I'm the only one left. But I've moved beyond that. Oh, that's right. The Blitz. I imagine that bought you any posts in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh, tell me why? The Captain hopes the Ambassador can get an audience with the Council. Tell them what Saren's been up to. Makes sense. They'd probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. <laughs> Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. Alright. Is there anything useful in my locker? Not bad. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I I'm wanted hearing to travel it now. the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Yeah, I'm hearing the Mon Mothma uh, in Chagwas' voice now. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows oh he's pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? <laughs> well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Hayden's lucky. He just gets migraines. <laughs> yeah, just migraines. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. You never knew Jenkins! He died before you met him! What the hell? Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. Probably not. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot from you. I've never met anyone who was awarded the Star of Terra. Uh, Star of Terra is basically the Mass Effect equivalent of the Medal of Honor for the United States. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? <laughs> I've seen friends Psycho. die before. Comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. <laughs> I get migraines and my biotic? Yes. You're biotic. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. <laughs> Psycho, you, you're a biotic god. <laughs> Can you smell your own greatness? Um, before we head upstairs, we're gonna head downstairs, so we can sell some of this shit off. <laughs> Anything that isn't, um, already equipped, or a level 10, getting sold. <laughs> Volus. 
Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Alright. Let's see what you got. You bet, Commander. Okay, you've got... That. Those are good. But the rest of it is shit. Um... Let's see here. Sort by level. Now, one of the greatest things... Or quality of life improvements about this game is the ability to mark things as junk and then sell it in bulk. <laughs> you couldn't do that in the original game. Love when he gets you to. <laughs> I am a biotic god. Fear me! <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was funny. <laughs> In Mass Effect 2. Set. Biotic sneezes. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a pain in the butt. Okay, we're going to keep the Omni tool because that's actually a very good one. Wow, I have got a lot of this shit. <laughs> a biotic sneeze and then the Asari launches him in the next year. Yep. Okay, we're gonna keep the Savant amp because Savant stuff is the best of the best. Almost done. We're in the nines. Jeez, I have more shit than I thought. Alright, here we go. And now, we're done.
All right. Wonder if we maxed out on money. Yep, we're maxed out on money. <laughs> maxed out on money in Omni Gel. It's hilarious. Oink. Oink. Yeah, okay. Another quality of life improvement, the elevators don't take nearly as long. So you don't spend like five minutes in an elevator. <laughs> Open the door. Yoink. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. When I first started playing, I thought the Citadel looked stupid as hell. But I, I come to like it. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Granted, you may begin your approach, transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dot 422. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony! The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? Fuck they you, Adina. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. Woohoo. And that's why I hate politicians. <laughs> yep, I'm with you there.
Yeah, we got a little bit of a renegade streak going. Not much. Hashtag relatable. But we're f close to leveling. Just, uh, let's go ahead and hack into Odina's computer here. Captain Henderson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argus Row Cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send a recon team in? And that gives us unusual readings. Alright. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. She's... she... She's what? You... Oh, Commander. <sighs> is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right. Sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? So, what's this I hear about a consort? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... Things. Uh -huh. You didn't want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh, <laughs> no, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. That's fine, Private. Just tell me where to find her. Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Remember, use protection. I s okay, I'll just walk on top of the table. <laughs> Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? I came on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious, always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Uh, no. Uh, never mind, forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? It's sticking our noses into other people's business. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get. And you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? Nope. I'm going to waste your time because I'm petty. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual specter to decide when and how to bend the rules. As much as I'm loath to admit it, he's got a point. Specters should have a bit more oversight than, well, you fucked up so bad we're sending another one of another specter after to kill you. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Bullshit. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. 
Spectres. They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a Spectre, the Council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? But not all Spectres are like Saren. True. But the potential is always there. Ah. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Oh, shit. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Alright. Well, let's just hack into his computer, see if there's anything there. What are you doing back there? Nothing? The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our, our shared plight. Few understand us. Few are tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come, join us in the Hawking Eta Cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. That sounds like a cult. Find the commune. Yep, cult. Commune is just another word for a cult, in my opinion. <laughs> because... At least every commune in the United States that has been famous um, has turned out to be a cult. To Fuck no. To Don't talk to me, Avina. You annoying. Alright, uh. We're supposed to go across the bridge. That's right. Hey, a Krogan statue. Welcome, I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Because I'm not. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to need you to make an appointment. Hell hydrate. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people, and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. <laughs> pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Uh, I don't wanna. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. Yes, of course, mistress. Fuck yeah, I'm a VIP. <laughs> Carolina gets sent straight to the top of the line. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. I have to admit I'm a little nervous. That's interesting. 
That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. <sighs> Hi. All right. Fine. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. Why are you touching me? What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. All right. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince Whoa. him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. I mean... If you're gonna touch me like that, at least buy me dinner first. Jesus. Okay, we gotta get over the... Uh... Over there somewhere. But there's a store right around the corner here. So I think we'll stop by here, see if we can buy anything like more grenades, more metagel, or a license or something. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Hell Hydrate. I want to buy something. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. We're gonna go look at non-human armors, because maybe there's better Corian armor. Uh... We'll go ahead and get the Corian armor. Um... Standard items. Okay. This is the stuff that we want. Devlin, Ceres, Serta. Okay. Yep, we want to go over there. <laughs> I love how... Watch these guys. No reaction whatsoever. What kind of drugs are you guys on that I can just shoot a 50 caliber sniper rifle right between you and you have no reaction? What the hell is in the water? Or is... Or sh should I be worried that it's actually so common for people to s run around the Presidium shooting guns that it's like, oh, it's just some random human again that's firing with guns. I'm not sure which is worse. The council isn't going to ask me any questions, are they? Nope. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. 
Actually, the council sees you as invisible. <laughs> uh, it's normal in certain parts in America. I can guarantee you that uh, um, where I am, it's not normal for people to just shoot firearms willy-nilly. Garrus! Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Come with me! Come with me! You don't want to keep the council waiting. Fuck the council. <laughs> the hearing's already started. Come on. We're a long way from that decision, Star Creator, but everything's already been predetermined. But there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. Well, that mission was top secret. How the hell do you know about the beacon? <laughs> the mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. Saren's hiding behind his position as a Spectre. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. There is still God one damn outstanding quirk. issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? Yes. How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? <sighs> You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. Well, that was annoying. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. 
We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with him. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The ambassador. I know right. the chunkless. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wall. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Hell, hey, Jay. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren. But his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Jesus. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know <laughs> the how war the world 15 works. years ago. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. All right. So, um, it's been about two hours, and my throat's starting to hurt a little bit. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to call the stream now. This is actually a good stopping point, because um, this is basically the end of the prologue. Um, so, that's not what I want to do, but, um, so tomorrow, um, streaming in the afternoon, um, with more Ace Combat 7, we're going to continue the Strigan playthrough, um, going from Pipeline Destruction through Bunker Buster. Um, although the stream I'm most excited for is Saturdays um, at 11.30 uh, a.m. Uh, Central Daylight Time. That is going to be Piper's Suicide Mission. Um, Twelve loyal squad mates will make it into the collector base. It is up to you guys to determine how many of them leave or how many survive. Um, I'm so excited for that. I, uh, and then Monday uh, we continue the DLC showcase with Ace Combat 6 with the Mirage 2005. Um, so a nice f small French aircraft. Um, Tuesday is more um, infamous Second Son. We go after the quote unquote neon sniper to try and drain her powers. Um, Wednesday, we start Sir Hammerlock's um, DLC in Borderlands 2 with Raz and Floof. And next week, 
We um, scour the Citadel to try and find um, evidence to expose Saren to get um, him disbarred from the Spectres. And along the way, we will build up our squad by recruiting Garrus, Rex, and Tally. Um, uh, so, anyway, thank you for for joining me. Uh, I know it's uh, rather late, but um, I, I I'm glad you all came out. Um, if anyone wants to raid someone, go ahead and redeem the guide the raid. Otherwise, I think I'm going to call it a night. I'll go ahead and save. Um, so yeah. Good night, everybody.